Hey guys, welcome back um, to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Nduna, where, known as Nduna Wengombe, which means headman of cattle. My name of course is Mitchell Mutumba Simata, aka the headman of cattle. So today on this 24th of January 2021, I had a conversation with a farmer from uh, Ethiopia who is from the home where the Borans originated. I think it's called Borana in Ethiopia where they say the Borans originated from. Mr. Nazir came through the comment sections and asked me to do a video on um, Sangha Kettle. And um, I felt I should do it because the Sangha Kettle, the Sangha name is a very interesting name. So I'm going to explain in this information why this kettle are called Sangha and what are their history. And uh, what other breeds can also be called Sangha Kettle. So without wasting any time, let's get into the information. As you guys know, I'm never writing so I got my trusted notebook with me. With, with my not so flattering handwriting, but let's get into the information. So, Sangha Kettle is the collective name for indigenous cattle of sub, sub-Saharan Africa. Hmm. They are sometimes identified as a sub-species with, scientific, with the scientific name Bos Torres Africaners. This cattle originated in East Africa, probably the western, probably the western shore of Lake Victoria and have spread down the river Nile northwards with depictions on ancient Egypt murals so the paintings in the ancient Egypt tombs you'd see Sangha cattle Sangha are an intermediate type probably formed by hybridizing the indigenous humpless cattle with zebu cattle however archaeological, archaeological evidence indicates that the cattle type was domesticated independently in Africa and bloodline of Torren and Zebu cattle were introduced only within the last few hundred years. Thus, African cattle descended uh, firstly from an oh. Torres domesticated in near in the near in near in the Near East. After the introduction to Egypt, about eight thousand years ago, they spread all over the Sahara, which was then still green up to West Africa. The North up to West Africa. The North pastoralists interbred their domestic cattle with wild African auras of various regional and reg various regional and race, both in a in a pattern in a pattern in a parental and maternal line over a long time, which is reflected in the genetic distinction. Of African cattle from both European and near east and near eastern and from Indian Zebu cattle. Hereby, special adaptation to the African climate and conditions were introduced. That were introduced introduced that characteristics. African cattle, both those depriving solely from the Oris and the Sangha cattle with their Zebu ad mixture. Morphological features of early African cattle, such as the lar shaped horns. Lyre shaped horns are depicted on murals of ancient Egypt, as I mentioned. Some, auth some authors date the first Sangha cattle, which, which originated through by crossing in of zebu bulls in, in northeast and east Africa from 1600 BC on, they are distinguished by having a small, having a small cervical thoracic hump that are typical of wild orus cattle instead of a high thoracic hump, which are characteristic, which are characteristically typical of zebu cattle. So that's the information on sangha cattle. So the pure sangha cattle, the types we have, we have the raya. Azob, Azibo, not Azob, Azibo, Abiga, Afrikaner, Aled, Dinka, Ankole, Drakensberg. The Ankole is original, original African type, so it hasn't gotten any changes. The Drakensberg cattle, Nguni, Red, Fulani, the Red Fulani, Tuli, Twana, White Fulani. So those are the type of cattle. Then you have the, the Ghana Sangha. So, those are the Sangha type, uh, purebred Sangha type cattle. 
and the Ankole is originally African type. So the Ankole is one of the oldest. This is why I think people like them. And I think probably that's how the oldest Sangas, the original Sangas, probably look like the Ankole or the Longhorns because most of the pictures you see in the Egyptian tombs and murals and paintings of ancient Egypt and their cattle, you'd see very big, very large horned animals, typical to what the Ankole look like today. But this other um, Sangha type animals I mentioned have probably changed a bit, you know, because you remember, we are human beings, we breed. Of course, we wouldn't want cattle with very large horns, so we start breeding that out and start breeding smaller horns, smaller sizes, and so forth. So those are the type of um, Sangha, uh, type of Sangha cattle you can get. It's a, it's a pure, purely African uh, cattle breed. As I mentioned, Sangha is the name given to most sub-Saharan African cattle and the various phenotypes. These were the various phenotypes that I mentioned, stuff like the Abigir, the Afrikaner, Alid, Alid Dinka, and all this type of uh, animal cattle breeds that I just mentioned. So I hope this information does help Mr. Nazir. Nazir, I hope we made a deal. I said if I make this video for him, he has to help me get a 100 plus subscribers. But I don't know if that will happen. But before I end this video, I just want to ask my farmers, my fellow farmers to do me two, three favors actually. One, like the video. Two, uh, subscribe to the page, turn on your bell notification. Three, um, uh, share the video. And probably let's add an, a fourth one. They get into the comment section on any new video ideas that you guys might have for me or any plant. Let's not just keep it strictly livestock. Let's also focus on the plants, the crops. Any crops that you guys would love me to do a research on or do a presentation on, just hit me up in the comment section. And um, like I mentioned, like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification, share the video. And uh, share the video. Let's get this uh, farmer this farmer page up. Thank you very much to the ladies. I mean, gentlemen, but also I see ladies also there who have assisted me to get the uh, subscriber page up. The channel officially hit about thirty thousand views. YouTube notified me on that. We've hit about thirty thousand views on this channel, which is a good thing. We are now at six hundred and seventy six hundred and seventy eight uh, subscribers. But I think by end of this month or moving into next month, we might be. Uh, targeting probably to hit 700 but that is in the future let's focus on the year now and that is my information on the sangha breed of cattle hopefully you guys enjoy it hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, hopefully mr nazir gets the information that he needed and this can assist him in his farming endeavors with that said bye for now